Well, this is a copy of that $249 ticket a woman got after being pulled over for having a tag kind of like this one, but for not living on tribal lands. Now, it's a law that's been on the books for three decades, but her tribal leaders say that it hasn't been enforced until now. What changed and when did it change and why wasn't anybody noticed? Those questions coming up in tribes across Oklahoma tonight after a tribal member got a ticket in Garfield County this week for violating a Supreme Court ruling from 1993. The ticket says the driver has an Ota, Missouri tag but lives outside of the tribal area. The driver was cited for not paying taxes to the state. The Ota, Missouri tribe posted a statement about the ticket saying, quote, it appears the state has altered its position of understanding concerning tribal tags. They go on to say they weren't notified of a change and that consultation with tribal governments would have been helpful to avoid this. Now tribal members across the state say they feel targeted and concerned. Are they going to be pulling us over just because they see our tribal tag? And, and what is that going to lead to? I was concerned. I was concerned because no one seemed to know about it. Some believe the political climate and the governor's relationship with the tribes may be the reason for new enforcement. This was intentional, and he does not want to see tribal tags in Oklahoma. KOCO asked Governor Stitt's office and the Department of Public Safety if there have been recent conversations about starting to enforce this law, but never got a response. Governor Stitt stood by the law, though, sending a statement that says it addresses a significant public safety issue that puts law enforcement and others at risk. He went on to explain how tribes with compacts won't be ticketed. Those tribes include Choctaw, Chickasaw and Cherokee. Now, other tribes have also posted statements about the incident today. They say that they're meeting with legal counsel to see what can be done.